Hello everyone, my name is Neko and welcome to another one of my speed paints. If you're new here, hi, how are you? It's great to meet you. And if you're a returning viewer, hi, how are you? It's great to see you again. Wow, has it been a long time since I've drawn something from this AU. For those of you who are new, this is from my babysitter Bob AU. It is the first AU I ever drew on my channel, and it's one that I've wanted to do for quite a while before I actually sat down and did it. Um, I think the first picture I drew was back in February, or March, or somewhere around there, I don't remember. But, um, it was a huge hit, like I was blown away at how many people actually really liked my artwork. And for a while I did draw the series, and then I found myself kind of leaning towards other things, and I just drew what I wanted to. And Babysitter Bob was not forgotten, but it was kind of left off to the wayside. Until now. Because I had this cute idea where I was going to draw all the boys together carving pumpkins because that is something my center does every single year. We all go to a pumpkin patch, we pick our own pumpkins, and we bring them home to either paint or do whatever you want. And also, our classroom gets their own pumpkin that we get to carve and name. And I think in my last year, my kids named the pumpkin Batman. So, yeah, it, it's a tradition that we usually do. Um, wow, look at that fossil that just showed up. But, uh, yeah, I cut out a lot of the line art. Like, I did a lot of detailing work in this. And the reason is the speed paint with the line art and the coloring and all that all stuff, all unedited, was over 10 minutes long. And A, I can't ramble for 10 minutes. I mean, I can try. But B, you will get bored really quickly. So I kind of narrowed it down to the nitty gritty where I'm just coloring the boys and getting them all squared away. So yeah, um, I tried a new coloring technique with this one. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. It's where you color the skin first and then use it as kind of like a base color for the rest of your colors. I think I did it wrong. Um, I like clipping layers too much to actually do the skin like this, I think. Um, maybe next time I'm just going to color the skin first and then do something over it. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes later. But, um, the original, when I look back at the original picture of Babysitter Bob, the style isn't that far off. I mean, I'm still doing slightly kind of cell shading, kind of soft shading, that merging coloring style that I started out with. Um, I still can't draw curly hair, I, the boys are somewhat not like they're supposed to look, like Wade, I realized, had really, really blonde, really curly hair, but if I drew him with blonde, curly hair, no one would recognize him, so I'm still going off of just taking their designs now and shrinking them down into a smaller version so it's easier for everyone, even though I kind of write the letter of their first name on their shirts for clarification, but, um, <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? We're not even halfway through this, and you're probably already sitting there going, oh my god, is it over? But, uh, no, it's quite a long speed paint. It's been a while since I actually did a speed paint with more than two people in it. I have, it, it takes a lot of coordination to get everybody in the picture the way you're supposed to, and have it flow to a place where it's all looking into one spot, or it has kind of a place where your eye can follow. I broke it off a little bit with Yami. For some reason, whenever I draw Yami in my speed paints, he's either not cooperating with the group, or he's out of the eye spectrum. But, um, yeah, it, it, I don't know why it happens, it just does. I don't know if it's because my interpretation of Yami is kind of off focus from the others because they haven't done so much. I don't know if that's symbolism for anything secretly in my mind, but yeah. <laughs> One day you will be with the program, Yami. For right now, just keep scooping those pumpkin seeds out of the pumpkin. Has anyone ever touched pumpkin guts? While we're on the subject, I just changed it really quickly. But that is one of my 
favorite things about fall is scooping out the guts from a pumpkin and just squishing it in my hands. Like I have this sensory need every time we carve a pumpkin to just stick my hand in the pumpkin and rip the life juice out of it. Not to mention my coworkers make amazing pumpkin seeds. I think she toasts them for a few minutes with a little bit of salt and they come out magnificent. They get stuck in your teeth and <laughs> they're horrible to get out, but it is well worth it. I enjoy pumpkin seeds way too much. Oh wow, we're not even almost towards the end. <laughs> but yeah, um, what else can I ramble about? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so... I have an idea for the next few speed paints. They're gonna be kind of Halloween centric uh, because it is the uh, month of October and I would like to stick with kind of a Halloweenish feel. But I, I don't know if I'm gonna do another one from this AU or if I'm going to do just a regular whatever comes to mind speed paint. Maybe I'll have them all dressed up in their normal ages. But yeah, one day I'm gonna have to draw Bob as a child. I, I kind of feel bad because he's always taken as the responsible one and he kind of looks like their dad in this week. But um, yeah, it, I, I kind of draw him as a child one time or maybe do a little series in the AU where he's the child and they all have to take care of him. Oh, poor Bob. <laughs> but, oh. That was just ideas for the future. Um, so let's see what else can I ramble about. This is why I trimmed it all down because I can't think of something to say for over five minutes. I mean, I, I'm not talkative by nature, so <laughs> it's interesting when I have to sit there and talk straight through. I mean, my presentations in school were bad enough. Now I'm recording for the world to see. Oh, and here's the final picture. Hallelujah. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that I see you in the next video. Bye. Introduction. Moonlight Serenade is one of my favorite songs. It is from Mr. Frank Sinatra. I also enjoy the acoustic version from Benny Guzman. Goodman, excuse me. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that was my first thought when I started drawing this video. And if you've noticed, my Larn art is a little bit wonky. I apologize. I was streaming for the first time this weekend, and I was so excited. 